Fuck do I go? Here. Really? Matches? You're giving me matches? What the fuck am I gonna do with matches? Matches? I guess I might as well use them. Stupid, selfish little girl! Hank will die because of you! We'll all die! Don't listen, Tazzy. It's alright. You know my terms, Kazi Chiano. Have you changed your answer? No. No, I can't stay. I can't give her up. Then I cannot save you. But I am not a monster. I will give you aid before you face the desert. Until the baby came. She wanted a mari. Give him water from the fountain, and he will be well. Malik, help me, please. I have him. Here. Mr. Mitchell, can you hear me? Here. Yeah, thank you. Drink. God, I'm the devil. Look, look. His wound. It was closing. Drink, all of you. It will sustain you in the desert. The fountain. We drink. No. Oh no. Leon. It's what happened to Leon. How can I ever get back from this? You're a monster, Tazitrianen. All you can do now is save Amari. Yeah, let's go. Boulder Peak. Do I take his elevator now? Damn it! No. Mine's broken. His is broken. Wait. 
there a door over here? Oh no, this is where we came in. I'm just gonna leave. I don't know how going down is about to help us, but. What would your old dad have made of this, Tazzy? To stand here? To have seen this place. Almost a shame we have to leave. I'm sorry, I couldn't. Not after Alice. Hey, hey, I know. I do understand. And so will Selim. We'll find a way to... Uh, Mr. Mucho. I... I'm all right. I, I, I can't quite see properly. Something at the edge of my eyes. More matches. I had to open two boxes to get one set of matches. Oh, closet with matches. On the injector? I do. You saved us. I'm sorry. Got it. This should power my elevator, I guess. Ah. Tazi! Tazi! I can smell you! You are nearly lost! Fight it! Fight it! It will take you, Tazi! It has taken me! Hank... Oh, Christ... I am so sorry. I don't know how to help you, or... or any of us. I just need... I need to save Amari. At this point, Hank would chase you. That'd be spooky, huh? Hey. 
Hell yeah. I can aid your companions, but you must stay until the child is born. One life against the rest of us. We could save Selim. Tazzy, it has to be your choice. It's your life. I can't thank you. I can't. I lost Alice. I will not give up this child. I'm coming. Oh, dang, the icon, dude. Fuck. Fucked up. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know why anyone expected her to give up her second child. That's so ridiculous. Where's he taking? We could get home if I can find some more Vitae. to hurt you or your child. Then let us go! With the portal I can take her home! She will die. You do not remember? The child will be born with a sickness. It will waste her to nothing. Here with me, she can live. Here, there is hope. Oh. I thought... I thought I cured her. In that horrible place. You showed me. A temporary respite. As with her sister, the illness is too deeply rooted. I am sorry. Vitae can halt this decay for a time, but is no cure. She will always need it. Follow. I will take you to her. Oh man. I, would... I saw the child within you. Only a germ, but growing. I could not let her die. I brought you all to me so she could be saved. I told you that Vitae would give her life. But that she must stay here. You did not listen. You would not give her up. You would have died in the desert. I had no choice but to make you into something I could control. I would care for her. I could be the mother I was meant to be. Look at yourself, Tazzy. You have become oh, that's so awkward. Soon your mind will be nothing but hunger. 
You can do no more for her. But I can. You must let me be her mother. Here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, Icon. I'm here by heart. Mama's here. Comfort her. Feed her. Say goodbye. You do not have much time. When you are done, leave her and come to me. I will ease your oblivion. It's all right, little one. It's all right. Man, that's tough. How did we get to this? <laughs> if we try to go home, can I find a way to keep you safe? Or will it be Alice all over again? <laughs> to do to keep her alive what are we to do close your eyes for sleep is coming man I don't know shit I'm still holding the B button by the way oh jeez I know. I'm sorry. I don't know, man. You and I step out then. See what comes to us. Uh, I'll I'll leave her. Is this best for you, Amari? To be. I mean, it's t like I feel like this is not the decision the I would make if life. I was Tassi, but I don't know. Like she's a danger. Tassi's a danger. There's no, I, I don't know. I don't, I guess I don't know if this like disease is genetic, but I mean, assuming that we get out, right? With the, with the baby, then like, what am I gonna do? You know, I feel like, I don't know. Cause she could be lying to me, but I feel like because we drink in the water from the fountain, there's like no going back for us. And so it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is it, Amari. If I lay you down now, I may never see you again. I'm sorry, Amari. Here, you have a chance. Here, you will have a life. I mean, I guess the only, like, hope that I have is that, uh, you know, the goddess or whatever is like telling the truth from like one mother to another, you know? I'm not in love with how they get Vitae, but. Thank you, Tazzy. I will protect her. I will love her. I am sorry that this was your path.
Wait, I thought she said she was gonna do something. That's fucked up. She didn't do shit. Wait, can I go back? That's fucked up. She didn't do shit. I mean, I anticipate that there's like no happy ending, right? What happens if I continue? Oh, okay. All right, we're here again. Is this best for you, Amari? Bitch! Be With a promise of life. Please, Tazzy. How can you protect her out in the world? The disease will ravage her as it did your other child. You have given me no choice. I shall save her. The signs were there from her conception. Her body will fail her. It is your will you not struggle, Tazzy. No! She's... she's changing me. Oh my god, that can catch me. I'll lose myself. Uh. You're losing yourself. Gamer baby. To listen to you. I don't have to listen to you. You're not my mom. Stop. I'm the mom. Yeah, maybe I just didn't make it to her. I feel like that's what was gonna happen. Like she just uh, just kills you or whatever, turns you into a harvester. Ah! Am I wrong about that? <sighs> oh, fuck. <sighs> She's gone. She's gone. <sighs> it's all right, Amari. She's gone. Where are we now? I've got you. Well, we're home. <laughs> In my heart. <laughs> there you go. You know, that's not much better <laughs> i i kind of wonder if i could have gotten to her or if uh easing your oblivion just meant 
turn you into the monster immediately. I wonder if I should go back and check. Let's take the credits or the, the achievements. Um, okay, so what did we end up with? Tasi completed the story, left the daughter in the cave, and was reborn. Cave with daughter with a daughter that must now be cared for. Take a time to talk to an unburned child. Squad! Okay, found all the memories, found all the Hank notes. The crew of the Cassandra. Yeah, so I think being reborn was definitely it. So. Yeah, because like I did this the same thing that I would have done in uh whatever. Uh, it when I tried to escape, where I wiggled both sticks and I ended up getting free. So I think um, that's just what was supposed to happen. Um. Wow, that's beautifully illustrated. Kind of intense. I guess my hope is that when you escape to Paris, that, I don't know, you don't become like a menace. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm worried about. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of t tough to choose. I feel like the second thing is probably what you would choose if you were like a mother. Because... It's your child, right? Especially in Tazi's situation, but <clears throat> it's it's tough to to pick it because I feel like there's no reason for you to believe that you're going to be safe to anyone around you because you know you're gonna turn into a monster or something like that. At least there's no reason that you shouldn't believe that you won't turn into a monster. And I don't know if she's telling the truth about the Vitae, but I have to guess that she is. Or the, the goddess is telling the truth about the Vitae. Or the Vitae will keep her alive. Or that the Vitae was even necessary in the first place. But it's hard to feel good about the Vitae also because, you know, you have to kill people to get it. So, you know, not super excited either way, but... What, what, what can you do? I You know, I think it's just designed to not have uh, a good happy ending either way which is you know cool i guess Psst. no we need a we need a wholesome story about just family which is you know why fast and the furious is superior in this way <laughs> um yeah the adventure mode was cool i think playing the adventure mode was a lot of fun it's my preferred way to play it obviously i would not have played it the other way i would not have tried to play with the, the monsters or whatever um that stuff is just... I, I think I talked about it many times in this playthrough and also before in other games, but I don't like the tension. Uh, I don't like being able to not... I don't like not being able to just fight back or react in any kind of way. Hey, look at look at these people. Um, yeah, I would prefer to just, just play... Just have the experience in like a horror game be like this or like Layers of Fear where it's like a haunted house. Uh, where you just kind of walk on through and then get scared and then you just come out on the other side of it instead of having to, you know, run from a monster or something. That's, that's not appealing to me. Um, which is funny because I do enjoy, I, I think I've mentioned this part as well, I do enjoy scary movies, especially like slasher movies where they're getting chased by some kind of overwhelming monster or person. Um, but I think in that the experience is a little different because the tension is... Uh, easy to let go of um, because you're not the one playing it, but because I have to be the person initiating uh, the movement through the story, I find it to be a little bit too overwhelming. Uh, specifically in, in horror games. Yeah, I'm happy to do it in other games, but for some reason in horror games, it's not my my jam. Um, so again, I'm, I'm really happy that this adventure mode is a thing. I, I understand what people are talking about when they like, this is, like, a really highly reviewed game. And I think I get it now. Um, and then, again, m from looking through the actual, the real playthrough, where um, there are monster encounters, I feel like it does the amnesia thing quite well, from what I remember. At least the first one. I didn't play Machine for Pigs. Uh, for the first game, um, with establishing horror stuff to get you scared of yourself, basically. Or get you scared by yourself. 
Because, you know, uh, for as many times as I was like, oh, and then there's going to be a monster here, there wasn't. All the time. There was sometimes, but not, not all the time. Um, and so it is really funny that... Uh... Wow, this is a lot of saves. Did I do all these? I don't think I did. Are there custom stories? Okay, no, you can just get custom stories. Um, yeah, I think it did a good job of creating things to be afraid of, but then not being overwhelming with it. Where um, I could clearly see like, oh, there's like holes in the walls. And then it just created a situation where like, I am afraid of holes in the walls now. Um, and it's not as extreme as I think the first amnesia, but I think it, it scratches the same itch. So I feel like in that way, um, having not played the normal mode where things are touching you, it's probably really effective at doing that. So um, there you go. Amnesia Rebirth. Cool game, huh? Cool game. I I wonder what the, you know, I think I'm, I might go back and try to see if like Machine for Pigs has like a uh, no touch mode or like Soma, I think does. I could be like really interested in playing those. I think, um, again, because this mode exists, my preferred way of playing horror games, then maybe we'll do it. Okay. Bye.